If your girl gotta get flown out and you ain't paying for the trip, baby, you ain't doing what she wants, oh, okay? Jada. If you, I don't give a damn. I don't give my hat. Hold up. I don't give a damn. If you can't do anything to change the lifestyle that she wants, then shut up about it. This is y'all careers. And y'all want us to support so your Jada careers. So Jada Librarian. Hold up. You want your careers to involve you being, being flown out by men, being looked at as, in a sexual, seductive way by the masses. The fact is, you want that to be your job. All right, let's jump right into the topic, right? So today's question, um, let's start off with the guest answering the question. Okay. Right? Oh, great, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll start with you. Sure. Right? Have you ever felt that you might have quit on a relationship too early? And maybe if you would have just stuck in there a little bit longer or maybe just tweaked some minor things, it could have actually been a better relationship? No. Damn. <laughs> no, no, I, I can't relate. I feel like <laughs> I've stuck. I'm a very patient partner. Mm. So I stick things through to like I really can't no more. Like I really, I should be stepping out way sooner, honestly. But um, no, I don't think I've ever had a relationship where I feel like if I would have waited like another two months or an even another week, like most of the relationships I leave is because it mentally drains me to the point where I can't do it anymore. That's the only way I really, like, I know that sucks, but, like, mm -hmm. that's the only way I really, like, leave because I'm very comfortable with the people that I love, and I I know, like, everything is, like, pretty much the same. Like, I really don't want to get to know a different person and ask a person his favorite color. I really don't care. Like, I don't care to start again. So if I can work something out with a person I'm already with, I'll do it as much as I can until I really, like, it, basically I can't do it anymore. Just because I don't feel like getting to know another person. I don't feel like doing everything all over again. So I just try to fix it with the person I'm already with. But um, I personally give everything into a relationship till I really, till the person just doesn't reciprocate the same energy. So then I just gotta bounce. And I personally, like I said, um, I haven't left a relationship where the person I was with has been doing better than me or so it ain't no reason to look no, back. It ain't, yeah. But it ain't about doing better. better. It's not it? that, it's but not, just it's in not general. About, it's not about... She didn't me. say that first, though. She was saying she put her all into it first. I understand, but I'm just... Since we have a guest, I'm just yeah. trying to explain well, it. Doing better out. in every... It doesn't have... It has nothing to do with just looks or the person or whatever, maybe. Just doing better as in I am just grown... I grow more okay. without the person. I... And I feel more free without the okay. person. I'm more happy without the person. That to me is everything. Okay. When If I leave a relationship and that's the feeling that I have, then it was the right thing to do. Yeah. That means you've it. exhausted probably all your options. All your possibilities. Everything. Yeah. everything. I've done everything. I listen to every album. I've cried every song. I can't, <laughs> I can't do it no more. I just can't do it no more. So I just, I bounce. And I'm really good at never coming back. So once I, <laughs> once I bounce, I just, and never come back. Yeah, indeed. Um, what about Des. you, Des? Um, I feel like where I'm at in life, I'm not ready for a long-term relationship. So, like, what I do is meant to be temporary. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> okay. It's okay. like, I know we're not going to last, so I'm going to just stick it out right now, have fun, Ooh. whatever. But it's like, <laughs> I don't know, and I feel like that happens a lot with That's a lot of people wants. with social media because it's like, most people are with people for what they have or what they look like, and they're not thinking about it for the long run. Like, they're not thinking to have kids and marry the person. Like, they're okay with, I don't know, just, like, not being with the person later on. Like, they don't think yeah. that far ahead. And it's like, that's what our grandparents and stuff thought about, you know, like, building families and stuff, and we don't. Can I ask you a question? Being that stuff is in your mind, it's a temporary, temporary. thing. Yeah. Do you ever wake up thinking differently because if it's temporary do you wake up saying damn i could deal with something more more permanent maybe i should be thinking like my grandparents because you know social media it seems like that you realize that social media got people's minds messed up mm -hmm. so why would you want to follow into that if you already aware don't you think about if you know better you do better 
I mean, I fall for people very easily. And I know, like, my judgment can be clouded sometimes. Like, Maria knows. Like, I'm always like, oh, my God. So I feel like whenever I really start to like somebody, I'm like, okay, I already have the prejudgment that is not going to work out. Mm. And I'm like... But why? Because right but now I'm not in my life. Like, I don't want to have kids and get married. So I'm not looking for somebody who I can have kids and get married with. Even if you don't want to have kids, has there been somebody... Because you say that, that you feel that way, but... It has to be a reason. Has somebody tainted you that way? Has men have, because it seems like you, you just said that when you meet somebody, you're like, oh, oh, oh my God, so and so and so. Has that tainted your judgment or not your judgment, your feeling to the point that you don't want to have nothing personal because they let you down too much? I think she's just guarded. Yeah. But do, but on to, you know, you know, on top of that, have you ever felt like you weren't appreciated properly or maybe like, there were men that were in your life that you thought it was too good to be true or you thought that maybe it could work out and then when it doesn't work out, you're just like, see, I knew I should have not fell so hard, you know? Is yeah. that what it... Because that's what what could have... That's something that I've experienced where I'm sure. like, oh, he's the one. This is going to work out. This is going to be my husband. We're going to have nine kids. And then... Nine kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, but when you're in love, when you fall for somebody, sometimes no, you fall. No, I like fall. your style. Nine kids, that's yeah. a lot of sex going on. I, I'm listen, a, I'm a nine kids, that. one baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Well, when, you're, when you're on your but when you as a female when you really like somebody this is probably this is this feeling is probably starting to fade away but when you're a female and you really like somebody you can ex you can envision some of the craziest things with that one person but once that one person um ruins you know that feeling I think it affects you for the long run I think eventually you're just like mm, I never want to feel that again because the disappointment is terrible so so like can I ask out a question I don't want to stem too away from the topic, right? But when you go in with that type of mentality of any relationship, you know that you're technically already half stepping, and nothing is gonna work if you ever half if you ever half step. You know, like if I already say, "Hey, you know what? She's bad. Mm -hmm. I know she's probably fucking somebody on the low. I know somebody gonna fly her out." I know somebody going to do this at the third. I ain't even going to do all of that. I'm not going to put all my eggs into her. And now if I'm thinking like that, there's nothing that could realistically go forward or grow from that because I'm tainting the relationship before I even get into it. Right. You know what I'm but saying? But I think a lot of people are doing that now. A lot of people are living in temporary. People are following the trends or they're following things that everybody else is doing or their goals are so short. It's like, oh, I want to be, I want to get surgery so I can be a bad chick so I can look like this and get a guy like this temporarily. I you get what that. I'm saying? I've heard that. So that's why it's like everybody is becoming so temporary. A lot of people are not thinking of longevity. And, you know, you know, to get back on the topic, it's like some people don't even care about their exes because they're chasing, <laughs> they're chasing, they're chasing the new thing, the new thing. The right? New high that they look exactly. For. So it's like a lot of people, you know, like I know I've messed up relationships and been like, damn, I should have, you know, I should have tried. Like I really liked him, or he really respected me, or he really liked me. I broke his heart, and I look back and I'm like, damn, they're doing so good. I really wish that, you know, I would have worked harder on that. But then when I listen to other people that I know, and they're just like, oh, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, you know, like. I would like to agree with her, but the only thing is I can't fully go with you. I, I do agree with you, but I do, in my personal life, I've experienced girls like Maria mm -hmm. who exhaust all of her options before she says, I'm out. Yeah. I met Dez's too. Yeah, I met Dez's type too. I'm not your type. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I met I met that type of person who, who had the temporary mindset, and I had to... I like you have a temporary mindset, right? No, I don't. Oh, why I are you don't. yelling at me? Why is because it not okay? I, because, <laughs> because I don't have a don't temporary, have a temporary I don't even like honestly, my my space, my energy, and everything that I possess, I feel is so valuable and I only give it to people that I truly can care about and right. I truly feel some type of maybe we might not be in a relationship forever, but we'll have a friendship or something forever. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of person that I am. I can't just my energy is not disposable. I don't find it disposable. That's so right. I can't just be giving it to anybody. So I feel that way. I can agree with that. You know, so, but, but I, I actually 
have something to say about that, about how men feel, but I wanted to find out how Crystal, Crystal. feel about yeah. the situation. Because she's been I, a little quiet oh, yeah. and we no, having a conversation. Yeah. And, and you got to open up with us, Crystal. So yeah, I'm going to say what I no, got to yeah, say yeah, yeah. after <laughs> Crystal says what she got to say. No, I'm just listening to everyone's perspective. Um, like, I can kind of relate with Des, 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 okay. All right, I can kind of relate with Des a little bit. Like, um, I feel like in this moment in my life or for a while now, like, I mean, I feel like I find myself more in situationships and it's, it's very like conflicting for me because sometimes it will be a relationship, but in my head, it's a situationship or like, I'm trying to build this relationship, but I'm perceiving it as something else. They're taking it as something else. So it can get very conflicted for me. So like, there's men that I've been with where it's like, yo, I do see m myself with you and I let them know. And sometimes maybe I like, push marriage before I even push a relationship. Cause I feel like I'm the married type. It's like, we either like, we're together, we're married. Like we're really <laughs> married. Like, and I feel like it's just, it's been very complicated with my relationship based off of like, cause I model. And sometimes I find myself in like these different industries or these different um, environments where the guy that I'm with, he thinks I think like these girls. He thinks I want to move like these girls. I want to be a city girl and I want to get my body done. And, you know, I might make jokes here and there like, no, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get that done, blah, blah, blah. Like, or because I'm always in that environment around these people, he thinks like, oh, you move like this. Like, oh, you move like that. You're you're so wrapped up into social media. I'm like, no, like my job was social media. I'm still me. Like, you can't perceive me as that. And it's like, if you see me in a certain way, I feel like that should be, be communicated. Don't just like go off of what you think and not even ask me. What makes you happier? I mean, getting my body done and being flown out isn't going to make me happier. It might make me happy temporarily that in that moment, but not long term. So I'd rather be in the relationship that's going to make me happy. But it's like, you can't communicate that. And you're always thinking like, oh, I know what you're about to do next. Or I know how you think it. And it's like, no, you don't. That's an annoying like, relationship. Though. Yeah. You know, it's like, no, you don't. You don't know what I'm about to do next. You don't know what I'm doing. Like, so it's like, I don't know if it's that, that trust yeah, isn't there or if like things it's are broken. It's the, the, the insecurity. May, may I ask you a question? So these things that you're going through with the man and all that, does that make you want to actually give up on the relationship? Or would that make you feel like, yo, he really likes me. He's cared. He's worried about what I'm doing. He's into me. What Does, does that make you feel that way? Or does that make you want to give up and just run away? trying to teach us something. <laughs> right. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just asking the question. That's question. why I'm here. You know, that's why I'm here. Um, it doesn't make me... Honestly, let me say, I'm going to give up and run away because it's like... <laughs> I'm going to just say it like this because it's like, if you can't deliver it properly or if we can't like walk hand in hand together on a situation and you're just like judging from over here or like saying things from over here, I can't really... Stay in that relationship. But can I ask you need somebody to question? be raw and can keep I it real. Can I ask another question though? But don't yeah, you know exactly. from society and from social media, do you understand why your counterpart would feel that way or ask you those no, questions? No, I do, I do. But it's like if you're talking so, to me and we're talking about something and it and I'm telling you it's not that, this is how I think. But don't get me wrong, because I'm in those environments, mm -hmm. it might, it might seem like I'm thinking like that. Mm -hmm. It might because you are who you because you know you got to work with a relationship, right? Like, no, I do know that. Like, it's I know work, that. And I have, so. and I have. Okay, I have a, ahead, so I have a question, right? So I have a, so it's a two-part question, right? So what is the end goal on the music, m music video, aka modeling, gigs? Like, what is your end goal for that? And then in comparison, does the relationship, your end goal in a relationship supersede or outweigh with that? career path is, that specific career path. Not all your career paths, just that one. Mm, so I guess my end goal with my career is to end up, huh, I don't know, like, it's a good question. Hold it's on. okay if, if you haven't thought about yeah. it because that's what we're trying to figure out here because you would need to have to put some thought to that in order to have an ongoing relationship with a guy who's concerned about where you're going. That's the whole point to right. say, do, do you understand? No, I get the concern. I that love way? that he's concerned. I love okay. that you're bringing this approach to me. I just want to make that clear. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, I'm not knocking what he's saying, knocking what he's doing. I'm just saying, like, how he's saying it? Yeah, it's just like how you do certain things. And but, it's just like some sometimes, sometimes, like, People sugarcoat a lot of things too. So it's like, 
they're supporting you, they're supporting you, but it's like, but you don't like this atmosphere, you don't like that, so why support me if you feel like I shouldn't be there? I don't feel like my relationship... All right. Oh, wait. <laughs> so I don't feel like... I don't feel like I've thought about it enough, to be honest. Um, like, I don't try to put my relationship and my career in the same boat and, like, intertwine it. But I feel like I had to at a point. And because it's like, if you can't, I feel like my relationships, they've been sugarcoated. It's like, oh, they'll say certain things, dance around it, but they'll still support me. So it's like, are you really supporting me? Or are you just like entitled to like your opinion because you're with me? What is more important sense. to you? Do you care more if the relationship is successful or the, the modeling. your model, you know, your the success in your modeling career or, or the... I mean, I guess at the point I was with, with certain relationships, it was the modeling career was more important right. because obviously that's something I'm doing entirely for myself. Right. So I feel like that was more important to me, but I'm, I'm realizing like your relationships matter. They're, they're valuable to you. So, and if I want that relationship, then I have to continue to try to build it and not give up. Do you feel like you've lost good people chasing your, your career and your goal rather than sticking it out with someone and trying to understand their perspective about, you know, whatever they feel about your job? Truly, I don't feel like I've lost it. I don't feel like I've lost relationships. Um, I feel like they're, and I don't know if that's good or bad, to be honest, because I feel like they're always there. And it's just, Sometimes you have to know when to draw the line or when to cut off the relationship because sometimes people like just want to be there to, mm -hmm. to wait until this big moment happens for you or to wait until like, I don't know, just, just so they can be on the end with you, right. Yeah. right? So I don't know if it's like they believe in me and they they want to stay or they just can I you. Can I give you um, some insight from a man's perspective, right? <laughs> sometimes it's like, we try to look ahead of things, right? So let's say if I'm investing into you and we're together, we're not. But let's just say if I'm investing into you and we're together, by investing, I mean, you know, financially, emotionally, and time. And I'm like, okay, cool. I see that maybe your biggest thing is that on the modeling career, maybe you get to a million followers, you start getting five to $10,000 gigs, maybe once a month, maybe once a month, right? But after that, when you're 35, you can't model no more. So maybe I'm like, if I'm trying to put my time into you right now for 50 years, 60 years, 70 years, however long that we're going to last, and you're doing something for 10 years, that's actually destroying the relationship within us. But it's fear because nothing is for certain, so. I'ma say this, cause I've been letting y'all say this, right? <laughs> and this is the reality about giving up and not giving up. Mm -hmm. And they not going, this is not popular opinion. And I don't never start saying popular opinion. The difference with men, why men will can't can stick it out or cannot stick it out, because women have a shelf life. When they get to a certain part, when they get to a certain look, and they Didn't do, I say that? and they and they do a certain thing, the shelf life ends. So while you're 20 to maybe 30, if you really take care of yourself, you will get to 35. You will have a nice 15 year run, but after that, you're looked at as the old woman in the club now, right? So that changes what you need to do. You need to notice in, in advance and take yourself off the market before your shelf life value is over because that's how us men look at it period i, I want to tear wait, you up because this goes back to when i said that's why we need our security i'm not even gonna go there okay we're gonna listen, rewind the tapes we're talking, and now you, you can rewind the tapes but i'm ass. talking about based upon the giving up mm, you the said giving you, up and the, the not giving up okay. for me as a man i want I, I, I am different because <laughs> I consider myself a rider when it comes to my woman, right? I'll ride, she could get on my nerves, I pay bills, you run bills up, you do all this other type of wild stuff, right? <laughs> you do it because us men, we already think we have to tolerate that. That's not gonna make me give up. I don't think that I'm gonna go to any other woman that's gonna know me and say, I don't wanna spend no money, I don't wanna have yeah. a good time, right. I don't wanna blow shit, I don't wanna do this. So we deal with that. Right. You, right. you feel what I'm saying? That makes sense. That's not gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna got you, that's not gonna make me give up though. You know what I'm saying? What's gonna make me give but, up? Yeah. 
as a man is if you're not straight up with me and if you start coming out of character in ways that I never saw you come out of character before. If I met you and you was a wild woman and I decided to deal with it, you would be a wild woman. I'm dealing with a wild woman. But those type of things, when we get into a relationship and the woman starts to change, that's the thing that will make a man want to give up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Des. Go ahead, Des. No, no, no. I was just going to piggyback off of what you said because mm-hmm. I was going to say there are people in temporary relationships that are doing that, that are paying bills, that are like, you know, just being there for the girl, acting like it's going to last forever. Mm-hmm. And the girl is portraying like but, she's going to stick around. But what would Those make are, you want to give up if somebody was just paying your bills? Because anyone could do that. But like, here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you. Those are typically older men. That's not true. No, no it's not true. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, calm down. Maybe your age. I, 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 let me, let me, let me, let me go, let me go, let me go. Y'all can feel, y'all can feel free to go. I think we should just end it there. Yeah, y'all can go. They all got offended. We don't like what? Yeah, yeah. We got old. We got old dudes tricking. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this, right? I'm gonna say this personally. Men who spend, there's two types of men. Mm-hmm. Right, that spend money on women, right? For temporary relationships, we're gonna stick with the topic. And those two type of men that spend money one on women. One uses Viagra. <laughs> one uses Viagra. Yep. And the other one is buying a bunch of you. So that's why it's like, okay, you know what? I'll pay for her, 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 and her. Whatever. I got four of them. I'm paying to have four I felt females. That. I received. I don't that. really. <laughs> care. I received that. Yeah. Do yeah. I give a fuck? No, it's like, it's like, but I'm like, just but kidding. Like, but like, I'm but wait, kidding, but this, kidding. but this goes to, this goes to the shelf life that Esso is talking about. Right. Because sometimes the we're shelf, aware we have, but that. the shelf life is not. No, part of me, they're not no, aware. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because that's why I was saying. Like, but the that's shelf, so wait, hold on. Y'all know? might be, one but thing, most of them act like they're not aware. I'm sorry, Rico. One thing <laughs> that Esso didn't mention about the shelf life is that the shelf life doesn't always have to be a long-term 10-year, 15-year thing. It could be one event. <laughs> one event could ruin your shelf life for the remaining seven, eight years you're supposed to have. Something yeah. like what? I'm just like, I don't know. You like, know, it could Jada be like, being out I don't there. know. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, you out there, there yeah. Like, wrong situation. your name is floating the in the market now. You, when, messing with the wrong dude. Change many location. Things. Go ahead. Go to Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. You can always get money there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but honestly, that's why I say. Wait, this is again another topic, but that's why marriage needs to be the end goal for us. That's it. For if I were you, I wouldn't. I would give it a little bit more time of having fun and having these temporary relationships. But girl, like he's telling us, our shelf life, it ain't. It ain't, it's not a long thing. You know what I'm saying? Like eventually, you're gonna probably meet someone and they're gonna express to you that they really care about you, like you, and you probably need to try to take it to the next level with that person because. But- I mean, I want to fall into that. Eventually. Like, I don't want to yeah. look for it and be like, oh, this is what I want. Like, I want to meet somebody that I'm like, oh, I should probably change for him. Right. Like, not- but what would make you want to give up on somebody, though? Like, I understand all the things that would drag y'all up. Not part of me, not drag y'all. Bring y'all mm-hmm. to somebody, right? But what's the thing that once you have them, because she already expressed... She's not looking for permanent, which I totally respect. No, I, I, no, I am she looking is, for she permanent, is looking but, but I find myself, for, yeah. But you in, find yourself what? Like in a situation. Show. Okay, okay, my bad. She's looking for permanent, but she finds herself in these situations. That's straight up forward. I'm cool with that. She says, I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm maxing out. I'm giving them everything. I'm arguing. I'm fighting. I'm having sex. I'm getting money. After he drains me, I know it's over, okay? <laughs> What's your... I'm here, I like this dude, but you know what? I have to walk away, I have to give up on this man. So with me personally, I mean like Marie said that I'm guarded. Mm -hmm. I feel like I am guarded, but it's not because of personal experiences, it's because of things I've seen in other relationships. Like people like, Mm -hmm. you know, I've experienced being the side bitch before and getting more than even the main girl was getting and him being more honest Mm. with me and just- Like, Mm -hmm. you know, just having people in my messages with a girlfriend all on their page, like everything. And it's just, (laughs) 
it's traumatizing yeah. so it's it like is. being in that position you see and like even some of my friends like they're going through hell right now and like yeah. losing themselves so i don't want to be you would give up if you were those right friends is, is is what i'm saying so seeing those things <laughs> yeah, so i'm giving up i'm like no so, like, so, I so you're giving up before you even start the relationship you meet yeah. a guy that you like i already feel like you're not gonna be that guy you're gonna be in somebody else's dm yes. you're gonna be talking but you're gonna get a side chick so i'm not gonna give you all of myself i'm just gonna rock out for right now and then when until i see anything i'm giving like, up yeah, until we real, get close enough right and yeah like if it's real you're not gonna have those doubts about it like you're gonna be like i should stay i mean i'm 24 years old okay honestly so it's like i'm not looking to just be like that even with a man with us men to be honest it's hard for a man to give up on a pretty female period he has to find out dirt on her (laughs) to give her up and we go search for it i don't care i don't don't give a fuck if he walks out (laughs) if he walks out the house and i tell rico oh my god she's getting on my nerves every day i can't deal with it and she looks good i'm not giving up on her (laughs) she has to do something cruddy or whatever Us women know that though. to make me exactly to <laughs> make me want to that. give up on a mere fight arguing mm-hmm. a fist fight she punched me none of that's making me give up and on her and i'll be out on that I, you ain't you ain't gonna what? be out i can't that. listen because like you ain't gonna be out going on that. right now right now right now She's nah, strong. Right now, I got a lot to lose, and I'm no, not playing that game. Get out of here. We have high toleration, Definitely. okay? So we're not talking. We didn't get a chance to talk about us. We talking about y'all. Yeah. But as men, we have high toleration for women we like. I think it depends on what you're tolerating. Because women are known to tolerate cheating. Men cannot. You guys do not tolerate the same shit. I never mentioned cheating, though. Sorry. If, 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 <laughs> <laughs> she never came out my mouth, boo. I said argument, fist fight. But cheating is part of a relationship. But yeah, but, we, yes. but I didn't say that, that, that from I would tolerate point, from that. From a man's point, point of view, view and we're now, not tolerating and that. Now, That's a give up. Exactly. You guys don't <laughs> right. tolerate that. She cheating exactly. on me. I don't give what she look like. Uh, this, 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 exactly. or that. Exactly. You guys don't that tolerate. That is a give up, my guy. And that's what I'm saying. Like women, a lot of us, most of us experience cheating in a very long term relationship. A person you could completely be in love with, a person you can completely be everything with, someone you've been with for 10 years. I wish I knew why we take them back. You didn't watch our last show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm just saying, like, women experience cheating and we're known to tolerate it and bypass it, and men are not. And that is a big part of today's relationships. A lot of men are known to cheat. It's just part of it. And it's like, you guys are asking us like, hey, I'm gonna give you this, this, and this, but you have to tolerate this, this, and this. Mm I mean, but we get to do certain things that y'all don't get to do. Men's men's cheating gets tolerated. It's 21 to 1 out here. It happens, okay? When when, when women get tricked on, what are you talking about? When women get tricked on by herds, when they, women when women get tricked on by herds and they go get Dior bags and all that stuff, we don't, don't get that stuff. What we get can. as men, what we get as men, we get to have Percy. vagina. Yeah. That's our gift. As men, we get to stand up and pee and we get to have vagina. That's the gift that God gave us. Y'all can't hate on that. Y'all got gifts. Y'all get to look good. People want to see women. Women look at women. Oh, y'all look good. Men look at women. Oh, y'all look at... We don't get that shit. We don't, get, we don't get the compliments. We don't get, we don't get the compliments. The we don't get the trips. We don't get the tricking. And if you, <laughs> you do, can. it's a problem, okay? Because I got tricked on and she act like it was a problem. No, I, I didn't act like it was a problem. I just caught no, your no, ass on I got it. Tricked on and, my friend, ass on and my friend who calls me her bro, oh, this is my bro now, said it's a problem because I got <laughs> tricked no, on. No, because you so, lied so, and man, said that. So I never lied. What I said was, Y'all are getting tricked on and not, and y'all don't have sex thing and they don't want to have sex. I got tricked on and I was already having sex is what happened. Well, when anyway. we asked you, can we, can we, can we do a segment anyway, where we go back no. to the moment we're, we're, and yeah. then come back? Cause he said, we're not right. gonna go, no, no, let's just stay on topic. We're let's not going to go on a segment okay, with okay, Jada fine. because we know how, how Jada feels. Okay. okay fine. But as, 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 as men, 
That's what we get. We get to have that, right? So while y'all are hating and saying, oh, well, you get to have sex and all that, we, we don't get to hate on what y'all get to have. So if I'm having sex and it's 21 to 1, you can't just tell me, okay, well, y'all y'all have y'all have sex and y'all are doing this, because I can come back and, and, and say different things to you. All What's this I mean, I mean, I mean, You basically tell me that you max out and then you balance. Correct. And y'all basically telling me that, you know, men ain't ain't shit, right? Or they're F boys, you know, shout out E News, right? <laughs> and they're F boys, so they're temporary. But what I wanna know is what do you want in the man? And what's gonna make you commit to the man or commit not to the man, to the relationship. And not give up. And not give up. Like what is it, what does it take for you two to because you already did it. Mm. You do it. You don't, I don't recommend it though. Okay. <laughs> I don't recommend it. All right, so, so I, keep and I'm gonna tell you what? I said right. this is what I done. I, this is what I did. I'm not telling you this is what I'm doing now. Okay, so she changed it. She yes. said she did that. Yes. She's not, she not, yes. she's not working. She's with them. Yes. It's not. She's with them. I yeah, told y'all y'all came together. Yeah, and, I, and I knew that. Already. Drove in the same car and everything. I but mean, let me tell you something. I could tell. But let me tell you something. I, maxing out, it's. I lose so much more than that person does. I lose so much more energy, tears, emo everything. I'm sorry. I lose so much more everything than the other person does when I max out. When a man, you, you're obviously they stick around and they're always gonna come back and they're always gonna try to see you talk to you with a bunch of shit, but they don't really ultimately change. Like in my perspective, they don't change did you unless. Change? Yes, I did. Okay, I have a question for you. Yes, I did. But men don't change until they're a certain age. Like, honestly, I haven't been in a situation with a person that has had the mentality that I need from a man that's younger than 35. What is that mentality? A person that's willing to, all right, I, I'm done fucking all these bitches now. Let me just, like, you know, <laughs> stick to this one. But it takes time for a man to do that, And though. that oh, see, is pathetic. That. But what the, you said, I can't get with that. That's pathetic. That's why I find myself. Like, why do they change from but, being but, but, the way they it takes are? Time. It's pathetic. Wait, hold on. What is there We're out there? We're talking about forgiveness and different things, right? It takes time for y'all to come to where you need to be at for the man, too. Because you're not walking... Because right man, because because that. Like, we're supposed to, like, be okay with cheating. Can I just say what I want... Can I just, right? say, what I want, okay can I just say what I say from the standpoint of a man? That's all I'm just asking. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all, we have to stick out different things. You can't gauge what I'm sticking out and say, well, I'm tolerating that because I'm tolerating other things for from you like what? that would make me want to leave. Like what? Like what? Like what? Wait, wait. Can you my attitude? Go? You got an attitude too. Next, no, what's no, up? No. I'm, tolerate, <laughs> I'm tolerating your two. You got a two too, boo. What you expect. I'm, I'm you got saying. expectations too. Baby, don't add up. Yeah, do add up. No, 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 no. Wait, everybody, real quick. This is This is my thing. You're going to step out. You can't tolerate this. Just remember this. You're gonna step, you're gonna tolerate. We have to tolerate a man leaving our relationship, laying his head next to the man that you take care of emotionally. I am emotionally attached to yeah, you. I give you everything. I give you all of me, and I don't think to go and lay down with another, all of you? another man. I give you all of my my energy. I give you all of my me. I don't really have. So what do you time. give yourself? Because I know for a fact that women put themselves. You're first. changing it. You're you changing put, it. I know for Actually, a fact. You something. can't You're give. You're changing me. it. When you Listen, really care about a man, let a woman talk to. Let a woman talk. Can't give me all that. We heard the man's perspective. Okay. We we go above and beyond for a man. When we really care about a man, there's nothing that we will not do for a man. You want me to, we will go to jail for a man. You want me to hold these, men these do this that. shit and go to, the last like, thing in our mind. Men do that. Men go to jail for their woman. It, there's, there, the, I, I know plenty of men that there's nothing that they You will step out and sleep around on your woman yeah, and when we do can. it, it's disgusting and you can't even tolerate no, it. Can it. The only reason we tolerate men cheating is because it's been done so long. It's been, it's, it, it's like a tradition for y'all. It's like, we expect it. Y'all are born and then y'all like, listen, by the way, you get to, <laughs> you get to stick it. You know, like, it's not, that's what I feel like. Men are known to cheat and they are giving that stereotype. It's like a stereotype. They're giving that stereotype, which they completely fall on, by the way. Um, they're giving that stereotype and they're so, 
they're forgiving for it because it's so common, because it's so it happens so often. Let let it be known if a woman cheated just as much as a man did 500 years ago, we would be doing the same thing now. We would be doing the same things now, but no, we're not. not. No, we're Absolutely, only, yes. We're, all, we're only Bugging. forgiving for it You're because bugging. that's the only thing we get to do. Everything else, <laughs> we don't get. As a man, do? we don't get to do nothing so, else. We don't get nothing. You don't get no fucking. So why, my oh friend. Yeah, why not? Why you not? Get no, yo, you barely get respect. Okay, oh my God. you don't get no attention. A man is more respected Wait, in about, this world than a you, woman is. You what is don't, he talking about? I'm talking about from a woman. Talking I'm talking about from another woman, okay? Women don't respect men. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, they don't appreciate men. They don't even care about you. It's already people already know women care about they self first and foremost. So why, so why as a man would I turn around and say the one thing I get to do is cheat and do and get mad and I'm gonna give that up. I'm gonna have nothing. I'm gonna have nothing. I'm gonna let all the women have There's everything. Golf. I'm gonna let the women get all take all my money. I'm gonna let them take all my pride. I'm gonna let them not care about. Me. Oh my God! I'm, what have you I'm, been? I'm what have you been? Married. Married. No, I've been. I'm, not, I'm married. I'm not hurt. What have I've you been? been, I've been what I'm have you, what I'm have you Somehow, met? I'm married. I met women like y'all and hurt. dealt with y'all, and I know what I'm no, dealing with. No, you don't. That's, that's okay, what I've done. I've so. met y'all. I've met each and every one of y'all in different forms across the years, <laughs> and I've dealt with all of y'all in different forms no, across the years. That's a hondo to hondo, okay? That I know what's going on, and that's what we get, we get to cheat. Whether women are like it or not, if you go across the world, that's all women say. That's all, oh, because man, you cheat and, and, yes. and it's and, you know and you this, have this an is, issue. This is all you women. You have an issue, Esso. That's it. You have an issue. I don't have an issue. My you issue. do. Wait, that's issue. what we get. That's what we get. That is that is what you're putting on a pedestal. Cheating and right. fuck. What else did you say? Some bullshit. That does go to no, you. that is not something that you put on a pedestal. That's what we get. So basically, any relationship you're in, you're gonna expect. We're gonna expect that you're gonna cheat. You just confirmed what she said. All right. So boom. I didn't say why that. the fuck? Right, you, so look, let me. You let, always in denial. Go ahead, I didn't say that. Wait, 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 let that go. Break his camera. Let I didn't say that. Let that go. No, let I mean go. I don't, don't deserve. Think all men cheat. There isn't cheating in every relationship. But all I men think don't why. Cheat. Men are quicker Most. to leave the female is because when female she is emotional and when exactly. men she is just physical. Like you're just having sex with somebody and then that's it. You won't care about the girl. When women cheat, there's an attachment. Exactly. So to reiterate, you were not there for exactly. her in a relationship. So exactly. She played you. And can it's I, exactly. Wait, can I also say something? <laughs> can I? Can I say something? Oh gosh. Y'all got y'all get away with cheating more than ever right now, because. As far as I can remember, and I'm not even that old. When I was in high school, if my girl sent a picture of lingerie to another man, I would have lost my fucking mind. So now we're going to talk whoa, about whoa, whoa, Instagram whoa. posts. Yeah, so what I'm saying, <laughs> they're not so going to let you talk, Rico. So what I'm, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, the narrative is changing. And y'all are getting able to, y'all get the luxury of flirting to as close as cheating as possible <laughs> without crossing the boundaries. You get flowing out, but you don't fuck. I don't understand that. Supposedly. That's different. No, no, no. Allegedly, no, it's not. Allegedly. She's single. She no, has to be single. Stop. If you let your woman get flown out. Time out. Time out. I'm talking. Your woman lies wait, wait, and says she's going with her girlfriend and her you. girlfriend's Thank cover you. for them. Stop okay, it. Okay, that's different. That's different. Stop it. She's, I'm, don't, I'm, don't, don't. One do voice. The, wait, wait, one voice. Don't do the cat. I want to argue. Listen. It's not No. Oh, wait, stop. So for real, because I'm being dead ass serious. We're having a conversation, right? And women get to flirt with all the resources of cheating without crossing the line. And it's supposed to be tolerated. You post a picture damn near naked. If not naked, you send photos. You got OnlyFans accounts. You're getting flown out. You're lying to me about the who you get. I'm not done. I'm not done. He's on fire. He's on fire. Y'all get flown out, but y'all, y'all lying. Say y'all with y'all friends, but y'all don't fuck them. You might kiss them, but that still don't really count as cheating. But then the second that we actually do it, it's a problem, but you've been flirting around with cheating for the last five to ten Say years. Something. If your woman got to do that, I'm sorry, you ain't doing your job, baby. Get this boy, That's it. Get this you ain't doing fan. your job, baby. Okay. If no, your girl got to get flown wait, 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 out, if you, no, no, if you ain't paying for the trip, baby, if your girl got to get flown out and you ain't paying for the trip, baby, you ain't doing what she wants, okay? Oh, if you, I don't give a damn. I don't give my hat. Hold 
up. I don't give a damn, all right? You so if you're, if you're letting your girl be a stripper and she needs that money, I'm sorry. But if you can't do anything to change the lifestyle that she wants, then shut up about it. If you can't, no, 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 no. She needs to be single or you need to... You what? need to figure wait, okay, out. Wait, she needs to, needs to be on, single. On, you have on. a problem with that, so let her be single. So let me tell you this, right? Here's the problem with it. Here's the problem. Here's the problem with it, right, Jada? This is y'all careers, and y'all want us to support your so career. So get a librarian. Hold on. You want your career. Get a librarian. Listen, you want your career. I let you talk. You want your careers to involve you being being flown out by men, being looked at as, in a sexual, seductive way by the masses, and this is what y'all want y'all careers to be. So it's not about us saying we're not doing our job. No, the fact is you want that to be your job. Why are you dating this woman and then complaining about her? We're let not, her be why her. Why are you and let her be a hoe that, and go on don't, trip? I just said don't date about? that woman. Let I'm saying don't be, date. I said don't date that hoe. woman. Say it again. I said, don't let that. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No. What is she talking about? What is she talking about? You guys have a type to go out. And y'all be around bottle girls, strippers. You entertain these females. You talk to those females. So don't worry about our career when we're modeling, being around these dudes that probably look like you guys when you guys are in the same scene. It's just flipped. I meet them outside of the club, first of all. I feel like you can't expect your woman to be a certain type of woman if you entertain a certain type of woman. If you're following half naked girls, if you have an OnlyFans, if I don't you, have an OnlyFans, I'm just so. saying, some guys do. Um, <laughs> if you are like commenting under these girls or whatever, you can't expect your woman to be something different if she sees that this is what you pay attention to. This is what you're giving your time to. This is the girls that you're following, the girls you're entertaining. So how can you demand something from another girl if you yourself? This is what you see all the time. Uh, those are the temporary I, girls. No, no, no. Temporary. Can I just ask no, you one question, no, you please? Cannot. No, that's entertaining no. girls. No, you know. Entertaining no. girls. No, listen. Let me tell you something. <laughs> entertaining the temporary men are men, right? We oh, are less full. Cu- no, no, no. Listen. Y'all get head stuff, head we can't you can say head. women are women too, but guess what? Men are men. We are lustful creatures. This is why when we have sex, it's, pr- it's purely That's physical. So weak. Uh, whatever we can, we can, you can say whatever it is. So if I like or I comment on somebody's picture who is seducing me, she's doing oh, a great she DM'd job. You? Yeah. Oh my gosh, she DM'd you. She I told said, you to go like seduce. her picture. No, she posted I don't got up time her, for it. her titties were she's out and I like titties. She's deleting your account. Her titties were out and I like titties. Huh? You have to be following no, I don't her. Follow her. You have to be following nah, my, her. Listen, I'm not going to lie. My Instagram, I like and comment on a lot of girls' photos. Oh. Right? And my Instagram explore page, the algorithm knows the type of woman I like. And if I click it by accident to search somebody else up, I see all of this and then I go down a rabbit hole. This is real life for so me. So now, can I have to ask you a question? No, because I got to answer her question. So what I'm trying to are say is... Are you dating... Is, no, I'm not. Those types of no, women and taking no, them serious. No, no. Those, this is what I'm trying to say. Those girls that you're talking about that we entertain are the temporary girls that we only want for maybe a month, okay. a day, two months, maybe three years. So but they are not stop jada they're not girls that we're trying to put a ring on they're not girls that we actually want to give a baby to oh we like we don't even yeah, like them and that's what i'm trying to tell y'all we're not talking about that you guys are talking about <laughs> girlfriend <laughs> boyfriend relationships we're trying to yeah. can you guys stop in real quick because y'all acting a little crazy no we're talking about question. real relationships okay we'll can y'all just stop question. because we're talking about relationships when you're in a relationship you said it's okay for your man to uh, for a man to cheat i didn't and when say you're that in a relationship, you, that is not. Ethel, you're so yo, in yo, denial. You are no. You take words and statements and you and you Did twist them. Else miss Wait, come on, come on. Listen, listen. I'm good at this, He's right? Crazy, right? I am good at this because I have a wife that twists words. You say yes, and she says yes to the water <laughs> outside. <laughs> listen, this is getting way too heated. I don't even know where we're going with this at this point. So we need to save this discussion for next time. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, when y'all are less. Um, I don't like to say this, but we're, I feel like we're poking at wounds. But, but regardless, <laughs> thank you for the guests, the beautiful guests that came in. Des and Maria, y'all were great. Uh, I just want to say I commend you for saying that you max things out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't recommend it, though. I said that earlier. I hope you catch that. I, I recommend that part. Um, so with that being said, keep liking, subscribing, follow us. We love all the support that we're getting. We do read all the DMs and all the comments. So please do keep on keeping on. We'll see you next time at 8 at the Table.